Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful swan out of gum paste. This is how to make a swan for a cake topper. Um, I did have the full set of this, um, but somehow it's got lost. So all I've got now is the wings, which is two different sizes. I think I got these off eBay. Um, first I'm going to make the neck. I've got my gum paste here. You want to roll this into a sturdy ball like that. Roll it about like that. And then about here, pinch and roll it between your fingers. Do it that way so you can see what I'm doing. Just so as you get the neck. And then at the top, you want to pinch a beak. Do this very lightly because you don't want to squish it too much. Just so as it looks like that. And then roll this out in between your fingers until you get like a neck shape. wanting it quite thin so I'm just rolling it and pulling it with my fingers as I'm rolling it And then you want to put it in like an S shape, sort of like that. And just cut off the excess bits that you don't need, just cut them off. Set that aside on something to dry, ideally overnight. Then get another bit of gum paste. Maybe in for your palm. And you want to do that in like a little bit of a sausage shape, but with it going down. So if you angle it, so as it goes down at one side a bit, so it's a little bit like that. And then at the back end, squeeze this up. to create the tail feathers. Use your scissors and just go along and make little slits in that. Ruffle it up a little bit. They sort of go out there and in there, don't they? And then just with your scissors, just go all the way around it, just making little slits. just get 
a tool like this and just make little lines going down it. it's a bit distressed sort of thing then put that aside to dry next is the wings I'm just going to measure the wings on this I think those are going to be a bit too big so I'll use the next size down get your gum paste Roll that out as thin as you can get it. And cut out two wings. Oops. is like a tricky bit here want to get the wings and put them opposite sides so that goes the other way so it's going to be like that go down each wing and ruffle up the feathers a little bit same with that one If you want to add a bit of character to this, you can use your scissors again and just clipping the wings not too far because you don't want them going all the way through. Same with that one. Oops, doing it the wrong way. Go down it again with the tool. Turn those over. So you add a bit of edible glue. get your swan and you want the pointy end upwards so place that on there and the other side any excess under and I'm going to use 
some of these for inside here to keep them upright while they dry. And just leave that to dry overnight. I think I'm going to put something under here as well just to keep that steady while it dries. In fact, if I do it that way and put that under there. Ooh, my hands are sticky. And then it's not going to sink down into it. Uh, leave that to dry overnight and I'll be back in the morning. Right, it's the morning after and here I am taking off all the little bits. Now speaking in hindsight, I should have really put something through the swan neck um, because it does break at the end of this video. So bear this in mind, just uh, put um, a little rod through the swan's neck and bend it into shape and if you can stick it on to the actual swan. I made a little flat bit so that it sticks underneath and sticks to the actual figure as you can see there I've got some orange and some black in the uh, little dish there that I'm going to paint the face with I'm just going to get a little bit of gum paste now soften it up a little bit I only want a tiny bit, this is just for the top of the beak. Just measure that. Yep, that looks okay. So what you do there is you add a little bit of gum glue where that's going to go. And with this only drying for overnight, it was very soft still. <clears throat> so add that little piece there, and then what you do is you blend it down with your fingers so that there's no ridges, as I'm doing here. Just go around the edge with your finger and blend that into the top of the head. And then push it down slightly where you need it to go this is just like the nostril part so it looks like that then get a paintbrush and use your orange first and just put the orange on the top part of the beak And then get some black and you want to make it sort of like a V shape for where the eyes are so you come in and straight to the beak in like a, a dart side, sort of shape and do the same at the other side try and get it equal if you can then go underneath the beak with the black on your thin line and then paint the top of the beak where the nostrils are set that aside to dry <coughs> and 
I've put a little stick in here because I noticed that the neck was breaking um, so I just put a little stick in there and then you want another bit of gun glue add a little bit of water to it and just mash it up into like a paste place that on the bottom of the neck where it's going to go underneath and a little bit up towards the stick so as it'll help it stick sorry I went out of camera here I didn't want this breaking so I decided to make a hole where I thought it was going to go and add a bit of gum glue inside that hole so as it sticks place on whoops it's a really really fiddly job is this especially the day after when it's still soft so like I say you'd be better off putting a wire inside the neck of the swan and then bending it and if you can stick it to the actual swan body while it's still soft um, but that's what this one looks like as you can see there the neck were breaking so this is no good to send out to anybody but I'm going to make another one anyway I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching